the world of computers has always held a certain allure for young minds. In the 1980s and 90s, as personal computers became increasingly common, a new breed of tech-savvy teenagers emerged. These teenagers, often self-taught, were drawn to the challenge of understanding these complex machines. They spent countless hours exploring operating systems, experimenting with programming languages, and pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Among these young cybersecurity enthusiasts was Tom, a bright and curious teenager with a natural aptitude for coding. Tom discovered the world of hacking quite by accident. He stumbled upon a security flaw on a website and, driven by curiosity, found a way to exploit it. This initial experience ignited a spark in him, a fascination with the world of cybersecurity that would shape his future. Tom quickly realized that his skills could be used for more than just harmless pranks. Tom's early hacking forays were relatively innocuous. He would find minor vulnerabilities on websites. He'd then alert the website owners to the problem. Tom hoped that by pointing out these flaws, he could help make the internet a safer place. However, his efforts were often met with indifference or even hostility. In 2007, at the age of 17, Tom discovered a SQL injection vulnerability on csfd.cz, a popular Czech film website. This vulnerability allowed him to manipulate the website's database. Concerned about the potential impact of this vulnerability, Tom reached out to csfd.cz. He detailed the flaw and explained how it could be exploited. To his dismay, the website administrators ignored his warnings. They dismissed his concerns, claiming that their systems were secure. Frustrated by their lack of response, Tom decided to take matters into his own hands. On Baywords, he shared his experiences and insights from the world of ethical hacking. Tom's activities on Baywords did not go unnoticed. His technical prowess and willingness to expose security flaws earned him both admiration and notoriety within the hacking community. As his profile grew, so too did his ambition. Tom set his sights on bigger targets. In late 2009, Tom discovered a major security flaw in the systems of RockU.com, a popular social gaming platform. This wasn't just a minor vulnerability, this was a gaping hole in their security. Specifically, Tom had found a way to exploit a SQL injection vulnerability in RockU's user database. This allowed him to bypass the website's security measures and gain access to a treasure trove of sensitive user data. The scale of the breach was staggering. Tom had gained access to the personal information of over 32 million RockU users. Appalled by RockU's lax security practices, Tom decided to make the details of the breach public. He posted the full story on Baywords, including details of the SQL injection vulnerability and screenshots of the stolen data. The fallout from the RockU breach was significant. Security researcher Amichai Shulman analyzed a portion of the compromised passwords. Shulman's analysis showed that a significant percentage of users relied on weak, easily guessable passwords. The RockU breach and Shulman's subsequent analysis served as a wake-up call for the cybersecurity industry. It highlighted the need for stronger password policies and better user education. Companies began to implement stricter password requirements, enforcing the use of complex passwords with a mixture of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. Two-factor authentication also gained traction as an effective way to enhance security. The RockU breach had serious consequences for the company itself. They faced multiple lawsuits from affected users. The financial and reputational damage proved too much to bear. RockU filed for bankruptcy in 2012, a cautionary tale of the devastating consequences of poor cybersecurity practices. As for Tom, the teenage hacker who had exposed RockU's vulnerabilities, he disappeared from the public eye as quickly as he had emerged.